In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create realistic looking rocks with Blender's Rock Generator. And if you'd like to download the tutorial files, they're going to be available on my Gumroad and Patreon, links in the description. But now let's go ahead and make some rocks. All right, so here we are in a new scene in Blender. The first thing that I'm going to do is just delete everything. Sorry, default cube, I just deleted you again. Let's go over here to edit and I'm going to go to preferences. So you can see if over here on the add-ons tab, if you just click here and start to type in extra, you can see that there's this add mesh extra objects. Now you can see that I already enabled this, but you can just click on the checkbox there and that'll enable it. And then also two other Blender add-ons that I'm gonna be using. If you wanna add them in, I'm gonna start typing in landscape. You can just add that in as well if you want to. And then also I'm gonna be using the node wrangler. When we get to the texturing of the rocks, I'm gonna be using this node wrangler add-on. So if you just wanna type in node and add the node wrangler add-on, you can do that as well. All right, so now let's press Shift A, and you can see that on the Add Mesh, you can see there's all these extra objects because we added in that add-on. So you can see there's all these things here. You can add a teapot, there's a honeycomb, there's um, some different diamonds you can add, there's pipe joints and gears. It's a super cool add-on. I just have it turned on on default so I can always use it. But you can see right here, there is the rock generator. So I'm just gonna add this, and you can see that it's added a little rock. Now right here on the side panel right here, you can see there's the different settings. Now if you move this rock or do something to it, then this panel is going to go away. So just leave your rock where it is. Don't move it. Now I'm going to go over some of these settings that I like to use, but first I just wanted to jump down here and you can see that there's some presets. So if I just change these, there's a river rock. So it's really smooth. There's also an asteroid. That's super cool. If you want to add in asteroids, there is sandstone. So there's like different layers of like sand and rock. Okay, but I'm just gonna go back over here to default. Now you can see if I start to change some of these settings, like maybe the X, Y, and Z scale, that way you can change the scale of the rock. You can see while I'm moving around these values, the rock will randomly kind of glitch and change to a different rock. You can see it's a different rock. Now it's another one. And that's because we have this use random seed turned on. So if you like this, you can leave this turned on. I'm gonna turn it off. And then you can see that there's this user seed. If I just change this, you can see that we get a bunch of different rocks. So I'm just gonna change this to something that looks good. This one, okay, this one looks pretty cool. And now you can see that I can change the scale here. And this is the Z scale, so up and down. And then the Y scale is back and forth and X scale, just like that. So you can just play around with those. And then right here, you can see there's the detail level and display detail. So if I turn these up to like four, four is the max, you can see that once it loads up, they're really detailed. Now you can see the mesh is kind of going through itself. There's some glitches right here. So on this roughness here, I'm gonna just change this to like maybe a one. And you can see, there we go, a pretty detailed rock. Now, if this is too detailed for you, maybe you don't wanna rock this detail or maybe it's a little hard on your computer, you can just change this down. I'm gonna change the detail level and display level down to three. So it's still somewhat detailed, but not super detailed. Now this deformation, if you change this, you can see it's gonna really deform the rock. So if you want it a bit smoother, you can turn that down. If you want it like really crazy and bumpy, you can turn it way up. So now what I'm gonna do is just press G and move this rock over. And you can see that now it's gone. We can't really edit this. If I tab into edit mode, you can see that this rock is actually very simple. So I can just move these points around. And then when I go back into object mode, you can see it now looks like a rock. Now, if I go over here to the modifiers tab, you can see what it's doing. So it's adding in all these subdivision surfaces, and then it's also adding in all these displacements. And that's what it's doing to make the rock. So it's really cool. You can like, press shift D duplicate this. And then I can select some of these points, move it around, maybe make a, a longer rock. And then if I tab back into object mode, you can see now it looks different. So let's add a few more rocks. I'm going to press shift A, go to the rock generator again. And let me just change some of these. I think I'll just change the seed. That looks pretty cool. So I'll move that over, press shift A, add another one. That looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll change some of this stuff a little bit. All right, there we go. So there is another rock. I'll just move this over. And then I also wanted to show you the landscape add-on that we added. So if I press shift A and go over here and click on landscape, you can see that it adds this really cool landscape, but this doesn't look like a rock. What you can do is you can click on the sphere and now it looks like a rock. Now I don't like this one quite as much because it's kind of just lumpy and round. But if I tab into edit mode on this, you can see that it's really high detail, whereas these are super low detail. So this is definitely an option if you wanna use it, but I don't think it's quite as good as the other rock generator. So now just to preview these a little bit better, I'm just gonna add a plane, I'll scale this up. 
All right, so I've also added a, a light right here, and then I also added an HDRI to get some realistic lighting. Uh, if you wanna download the same HDRI that I'm using, the link will be in the video description. So you can see these rocks do look pretty realistic, but when I go into rendered mode, they're all white. So we need to add materials. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to add materials. The first one is to use my rock procedural tutorial. So I made a tutorial on how to make a procedural rock shader in Blender. So if you wanna check that out, there'll be a card up on the screen and there'll also be a link in the video description. And then the second way is to add a texture from a texture website. So if you wanna just pause this video and go ahead and do that tutorial, you definitely can. I'm just gonna be adding in that material cause I've already made it. So right here, I'm gonna go file and then I'm gonna to go to append. And here is the procedural rock shader that I've made. This is also on my Patreon and Gumroad if you wanna get it. So I'm just gonna go in here into the blend file and then I'm gonna go over to the material right here. So just go into the material and you can see here is the rock shader material. So then I'll click on append and then I just need to select a rock, go over here to the materials and then on the drop down here, you can see that I've added that in. So now I can add that in. And then if I go into rendered mode, you can see there it is looking pretty nice. So I'm just gonna add that on for a few more rocks. What I can do is I can click and drag and that'll drop the color on and then I can drop it onto this rock and I'll do it on one more rock. So I'll just drag this, drop it on. Now you could argue that using a texture is even more realistic. So if you wanna use a texture, we can definitely add that in. So I'm gonna add a texture onto these three rocks. So on cc0textures.com, I'm gonna be downloading this rock 020, and I'm just gonna download the 4K JPEG one, but of course you can add any texture that you want. So cc0textures.com is a really great website to download textures. There's a bunch of different rock textures, or if you know of another website, you can go ahead and just download whatever rock texture you wanna use, and then let's go back into Blender. All right, so I'm just gonna select this rock cause I'm gonna add the material on it. And then I'm gonna hop over to the shading tab. I'm gonna click on new and just call this like rock texture. And then at the beginning of the tutorial, I added in the Node Wrangler add-on. So with that now enabled, I'm going to click on the principled shader and then press control shift T. And now you can just go ahead and go to the texture that you wanna use. So I'm going to click on the color and then hold down control and click on the normal and then hold down control and click on the roughness. Then over here, it says principal texture setup. I can just click on that. And now it automatically adds in all the textures where we need them. Now you could definitely go ahead and UV unwrap this if you wanted to, but there's a super easy texturing method that I like to use and it works really well for rock textures and textures that are kind of random and can be blended together at any area. What I'm gonna do is plug this object here into the vector on the texture coordinate. And then also over here, I'm gonna click on the texture. On this here, you can see there's flat. I'm gonna change this to box. And then the blend value, I like to change this to like 0.2. And we're gonna do that for every texture so that they're all the same. So I'm gonna change this to box, the blend value 0.2. And then the last one here, flat to box, blend to 0.2. Now, if we go into rendered mode here, you can see that it's very nicely adding the texture on the rock. So I'm just gonna go into the material preview, just look around. You can see it looks really nice and it just blends in seamlessly. You don't have to do any UV unwrapping. And if you wanna change the size for this, what you can do is go over here to the mapping and then down here on the scale, you can click on the top value and then drag your mouse down and that'll select all the values. And then you can move your mouse back and forth and that'll change the scale. And you can see right up there on the rock, um, the shader is automatically blending the texture together. And then if you want to change this rock, you can just tab into edit mode. And if you move this around, what's super cool, probably the coolest thing about uh, this texturing method is that as you move this, it changes where the texture is and it adapts. So you can see if I wanna make kind of a round rock, maybe a tall rock, as I move this, the texture just automatically adjusts. And then if I go back into object mode, you can see it looks really nice from all sides. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, if you wanna help support me and download the project files, there'll be links to my Gumroad and Patreon in the video description. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.